Hey guys, guess where I am? You guys haven't seen the upcoming video I'm doing on a, a, a horse that I bought, but I uh, having some problems with a, an eBay seller, and I came looking in Houston for a nice place that had quality. This is a working shop. This is. This is Steven. Hi, Steven. How you doing? And this is Houston Crane Incorporated. It's on the west side of Houston, and they do everything from big building cranes to little cranes. Chain hoist, they sell, they service, they manufacture, they inspect. And uh, I was led over here by a listing that I found for a, a, a new chain hoist for the shop. You guys are doing everything in here. How long have y'all been in business? Uh, I think as of right now, we've been in business for about 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. And now we're just expanding out, getting bigger every year, which is good. And so you're actually manufacturing some rails for a, a crane, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. This is a portable gym. You don't see these very often over here. They, Oh, a portable! Oh, you can pick it up with a. Oh, yeah, you pick it up with, yeah, the, forklift. with the forklift. You pick it up with a forklift, and then you, um, yeah, you move it wherever. It's 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 not something that we do every day, so it's kind of cool. And the head's over there. Hey, Brian, eat your heart out. <laughs> that one you don't have to chain, pull the chains. <laughs> There's a big one right there. How big is that one? I believe it is 25 tons. 25 tons. Yeah. We got three of those in the shop. We're re, uh, re -mod or modernizing them for a client, making sure that they're, you know, back to uh, to working condition, going through them electrically, you know, and then uh, structurally as well. So. Well, this is interesting. In-house welders. They got their own mechanics. The big yard out there. Y'all buy old cranes and refurbish them, or, or? Uh, a lot of these hoists that we have in the yard, you know, they don't make them anymore. So we have a bunch of spare parts. We'll buy them. So oh, it, yeah. Some of them we we do remanufacture them, but for the most part, we just buy them for, for the parts. The parts. Yes, sir. Oh, cool. Well, let's go back through here. My kind of eye beam. <laughs> No, actually, this is my kind of high beam. <laughs> well, I see all kinds of, like a boneyard out here. Yeah. They're building a new engine up for their truck. But why I'm here today was something quite a bit smaller. As you can see, they have all different sizes. Back there, 110, 460s, push trolleys, motorized trolleys, chain hoist, rope hoist, locks, tackles. Motors. He, they even have a lot of motors. Anybody need something that size? Lots of wire. Boy, that's some money sitting there. Today's copper prices. And as you can see up there, these are all chain hoists that they have listed on eBay or their website, and uh, they've been tested. They, y'all are able to do the safety tests and everything on chain hoists and everything, and make sure they work right. Yes, sir. We do. Uh, you load service test them. them. Yes, sir. Load test them. Mm -hmm. We load test every hoist before we even, you know, put them on eBay or the we list them, so we know that they're mechanically sound, and we have a. Our, our techs go through them electrically to make sure that everything's working. Well, you have quite a few. Yeah. And look what I found this one down here. 
This is the one I'm interested in. I'm getting ready to load this on my truck if I can make it fit in there. This is a Yale. Made in the United States, unlike that Chinese crap that I got. Well, you'll hear about that soon. <laughs> but they've gone through this one. It's 110 volt. It's uh, a one half ton with a 20, 25 foot chain on it with a bag. And it's a motorized trolley. So I can sit down on the, the ground floor and raise things up to the mezzanine and roll them over the mezzanine with the push of a button. Yes, sir. I like that. <laughs> You're not selling these welders or stuff. These are things they take on the install jobs. But they've got all kinds of parts for winches. And they do sell those big three-phase motors over there. If anybody looking for a rotary converter, they can make one up with that. Parts, 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 more parts. That's a motorized trolley by itself. Put your own hoist on the bottom. There's another one. Well, that's a that's a chain hoist too, but that's a 460. Mm -hmm. and they got all kinds in here. Anyway. If anybody needs somebody to work on their crane or buy a, <laughs> something like this, like I'm interested in, how they get a hold of you, Stephen? Uh, you can find us at HoustonCraneInc.com or you can go to our store. It's uh, HoustonCraneStore.com or you can just call me up. My name is Stephen. I'll like to you know, know what your lifting needs are. You can reach me at 713-939-9788. Just ask for Stephen. Okay. You got an email? Yes, sir. Uh, my email is Stephen with a V at HoustonCraneInc.com. Okay. Well, we're going to put this one on my truck as soon as I pay him for it. Well, maybe let me run it on there. How old do you think that one is? Um, I would say it is probably from the 90s, maybe mid 90s. So it is, what is that now? About 30 20? years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shoot, that's one of the newer pieces of equipment in my shop. <laughs> How much would that run of new if you bought it? New? Um, a new Yale with a motorized trolley, you're looking maybe $4,500 to $5,000. Okay. So $1,650 was a good deal? Yes, sir. Okay. As I go out of the shop, I'll show you some more guys. Well, I've done all the paperwork and I'm getting ready to leave, and so I thought I'd kind of show you all these nice things as we leave. Twenty-five tons, all painted up, looking nice. Ooh, there's an iron worker. Got a punch on the front. Spartan. That's a pretty thick eye beam. That's their testing weights. I would need a much bigger bill. No, that one would fit in my building. That's 40 feet. I don't think the ground would support it. There's a lot of jib crane bases out there. So 
Congress is getting ready to move to another building. We've got even more out there. I've got to find a place to put this. Got some operators loaded up for a gate job. I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> <laughs> 